Hi guys, so do you ever get the bug for a bug? Ooh. Well actually this isn't a bug, this is a freshwater crustacean. But nonetheless, not exactly the most appealing when you look at him in real life, right? Anyway, let's have a chat about this. As digital content creators and aspiring social media influencers, we love to share our fun with others and invite you to join us on our adventures through the videos we post on this channel. So I've been trying to get this video done for the last two weeks and I finally made a decision that I got to come home and get this thing done. So. If you don't mind, I'd just like to switch out of this stuffy dress shirt and get into something a bit more comfortable. I'll be right back, okay? So there you go, let's get started. Okay, so this is a video about bugs that we like to eat, not so much about bugs that you can buy, because there's, there's lots of bugs you can buy in Thailand, and I'm sure in a lot of other countries in the world, especially in Asia Pacific and, and uh, Southeast Asia. One thing we noticed this year was that there were a lot more um, edible insect vendors um, at the street markets and I, I'm sure they're pandering to the, the tourist market uh, if you turn on the TV and watch the travel channel you, you know you invariably see someone who's sampling some uh, crustacean or insect or something right um, so I'm, I'm guessing that that's the reason why they're getting more popular in the street markets, which really pander to the tourists. We don't typically buy from those kind of places. Um, actually, uh, we normally buy our insect, the insects that we eat, which are like caterpillars, small caterpillars. Um, we buy them from a market that we stop off at on our way back from Chiang Mai on our way to Bangkok. Uh, it's a place halfway between Lampong and Lampang, uh, called Tarad Tung Quyen. Tarad Tung Quyen, I think it is. And we, we normally buy the bugs or buy the insects to eat as snacks while we're driving. Uh, this time, although we did go to Chiang Mai, we didn't know how, which route we were going to be taking home. And, um, and, and so we bought some before we left. Uh, we went to visit uh, a very famous temple just outside Chiang Mai called Wat uh, Prata Doi Sutep. It's up on the mountain above uh, Chiang Mai, if you go to Chiang Mai, it's the temple that you go to. There's a lot of, I think, prettier temples in Chiang Mai itself, but this is just a famous temple up there on the mountain. Anyway, on our way out, after we'd walked around the temple, there was a vendor uh, at a street market um, that we were walking past, and uh, he was selling these little caterpillars that we like to eat, and so we decided to buy some, and here's a short video of us eating them. These are bugs that we kind of like. They're like little worms or little, yeah, little worms. They're worms. Little, like a centipede. Hey. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. And uh, they're being fried, so actually... Pretty good. They don't have a lot of taste, actually. They spray something on to get some taste. And um, this is no different to e eating a bag of cheese balls. Except, this is pure protein. Hasn't got all the chemicals in that you eat when you eat your snack back at home. So, hey good. And uh, you can get lots of insects. You can get ants, you can get flying ants. You have to pull the wings off those before you eat them. And um, you can get uh, flies. Obviously you can get grasshoppers and stuff like that. You see what there's a lot of. And we buy them as snacks for while we're driving along. Bless you, my dear. And um, they're great. What can I say? That's it. Yeah. Good. She agrees. Bye bye. Thank you. So there you have it. A short video of us eating bugs, and hopefully that illustrated that we eat them because we enjoy eating them. But there is an underlying point to this video, and that is there's over two billion people uh, on planet Earth that eats insects. And whilst that's concentrated more towards Southeast Asian countries like China, Th Thailand and Japan and elsewhere, that 
doesn't mean to say it couldn't change and become more familiar here in Western society. With a prediction of the population for Earth to grow beyond 9 billion people by the year 20, 2050, we got to feed those people. Uh, and bugs are a much more sustainable uh, food source uh, than livestock, easier to farm, grow, distribute, store. A lot of advantages uh, with insects that one might not want to consider right now, but may have to in the future. So keep that in mind. Uh, you might see uh, there's certainly restaurants already that serve up food that include ingredients uh, of insects. So keep in mind that in the future you may see that becoming more popular. And keep in mind, I mean, sushi has become a lot more popular in recent years than it was. Our ideas change. We try something and we think, hmm, that's not as bad as we thought it was going to be. So something else to keep in mind. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button. Uh, we'd love to see you again, so please subscribe. Until then, bye for now.